What made you attracted to this 14 year old in particular? Yeah, I guess with this isolation thing, it's like <laughs> I'm out of my mind. It's different. What makes you think that's okay? I don't know. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? 26. Has this ever happened to you as a teenager? Are you typically attracted to younger children? No. So what made you attracted to this 14 year old in particular? Yeah, I guess with this isolation thing, it's like, <laughs> I'm out of my mind. You, know? you don't have a girlfriend? No. You don't have a boyfriend? No. Single. How long have you been single? Because of work and everything for a while. So, so I mean, do, do you, you say you don't typically do this, but I mean, you drove all the way out here. Where did you drive from? Kent? That's better away. better away. That's at least 10, 20 minutes. 20 minutes you drove out here knowing you were coming to meet a 14-year-old boy. So you had plenty of ample opportunity knowing this is wrong. And you, and you, and you didn't turn around. Yeah. So what, what do you think that we should do with this information? What do you want to do? What do you think we should do, though? Do you think you need help? Yeah. What do you need help with? My sexual drive. Explain that a little bit more if you don't mind. Cause... I mean, we can step over here if you want to get away from yeah. everybody. Cause I don't, I don't want to. Cause it's like I'm just, I don't know. It's just. Uh... Well, you can, I have. You can have another property right now. Cause I'm just. Sorry, six feet. <laughs> I'm just because I am. I think it's just because I'm working so much that I don't have time for a boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, but what? my sexual drive is like, you know, especially with this quarantine thing, it's like. But what do you think a 14 year old child can do for you? At this time. A 14 year old child can't do anything. That's a, that's a child, that's a baby. You can't even go to the movies. What do you think that's gonna do? Not only that, but you're mentioning the quarantine, yet you were going to um, yeah, put a 14 year old in jeopardy yeah. by possibly getting them the corona. Are you STD free? Yeah. I, I always use protection no matter what. Do you have protection on you tonight? Do you have it with you, you right now? You did say you would be, bring protection. Do you have it with you right now? I was going to buy some, but whatever. Where do you work at? Bye guys. So you think that your what do you think your people at your your job would say when when this when they when they find out? They look at me another way. Like, what do you think the world is gonna say? Because this is going on YouTube. What do you think? Let me ask you this. What do you think your parents are gonna say? You from Washington? Yeah. So you know a lot of people where you're from. Like, let me ask you this. If we, if we told you to call your mom and your dad right now, what do you think they would say? To be disappointed on everything. And... So, so should, should we do this? Should we have you call your parents or should we have you call the police on yourself? Because this is what you do right now is a federal crime. Just you showing up is a crime. 
If we were the police, you'd be in handcuffs right now. Now, we are not the police. So, why don't, why, why don't we have you call your parents instead of the cops? You know, we have, we have, first of all, before I get on that, if it was a 13-year-old, would you have gone for it because of the virus? I mean, because you're saying that your choice was based on the fact that you're quarantined to the virus. So that sounds like since you're kept away from being able to socialize outside of work, that now your sexual interests have peaked to something outside of what you're normally used to. Yeah. So, you also mentioned that you needed help. I want to know how young would you have gone? Would you have, if this was a 10 year old, would you have done a 10 year old? No. But you, you can't say that because you just said your decision was purely based off of being quarantined. Yeah. Do you see how dangerous that is? Yeah. Do you have family members? You have cousins, sisters, brothers? brothers? Yeah, but they were all growing up. You know? Okay. okay um, if you had a kid, what would you what would you do if this was your son or daughter, somebody coming to meet them? Okay, so so why why are you coming to do this? Well, well technically we're being nice by knowing our voice. Yeah, so why why are you why why do you think we should I mean I'm not be doing anything for you? Like like I said, I think you should be calling your parents right now instead of us calling the police. And say, Mom, Dad, this is what I did, and I need help. Can you get me that help? So, can can you pull out your phone and I'll talk to him? Because you got two choices here: you got police, or you got Mom and Dad. Your cooperation can also determine whether your face is blurred out on the video or not. Huh? Come on, bro. What did I tell you at the beginning? No, it's like nah. something was pulled out. Listen, your cooperation will determine whether or not we are going to blur out this video because you came to see a 14 year old child. Are you on any kind of medication? Hmm? What about your what about your dad? I don't have a dad. You don't have a dad? He left when I was two. It's just my mom. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, but but I don't think that's like Unfortunately thing. that's a lot of Americans. Yeah. Maybe you should um, try her again. And this time put on speaker so we can hear it. Because, I mean, you might not be calling anybody because I don't see the light on your phone. I don't hear it ringing either. I thought we had an understanding, my friend. You know what we're talking about. You cooperate. Yeah. Aim to get. I mean, we're being cool. We're not yelling at you. We're just chilling. We could, we could be turning you a new one. You live by yourself or with your mom? With my mom. It's like cold. Can you were planning. Hey, let me call you back. This is one number. You weren't calling your mom, man. I mean, who who has okay, a, wait, a wait, phone wait. number that's on on their phone? It's not listed on their mom. Or like you just had a phone number. It's all good. You know what? You're not cooperating. And and what you said you would do is cooperate. 
Like, why are you doing okay. this, man? Come on, So just now, it. I'm going to have to raise my voice. Okay. Because you're not understanding how bad it is to meet a child for sexual reasons. I mean, you do this one more time, I'm going to call every five guys in freaking federal way. Now, come on. I'll do it, too. I ain't got nothing but time and opportunity. You were going to this boy's house. You asked if he lived with his parents. So, you asked when his cousins were going to be leaving. You were going to go into his home and stick your d in his butt. So but you have a problem. Yeah, that's just, oh, I, already got, I already got the license plate. Dude, you run. They're going to they're gonna come search you. That's a f***ing crime. That's a f***ing crime. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Um, we're with an organization that catches uh, men. Yeah, yeah. Women. Okay. He was here to meet a 14-year-old boy. Yeah. Um, he had mentioned he was going to go in there and get condoms. Say he wanted to go into his house. Mm -hmm. um, and so we confronted him about it, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty okay. much what was going on. We got the live chats, everything from beginning to end. Okay. Everything like that. Okay. Um, do you have his full name and information and everything? Andrew is his name. Okay. I have is that the. All he gave you guys. Yeah. Andrew. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. We got we got you know uh, full sexual chats from the beginning okay. to end. He approached he approached us. It wasn't a, an approach. You know. From yeah. The chats. Okay. Like so what well, like what website he put you guys on? Right? Um, Grinder. 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 Yeah. Grindr. Oh. Okay. And it's it was clear that this he profile knew from, is a fourteen year old. Yeah. He knew from get go. That I'll show you right now. Yeah. Okay. We got the whole chats. Okay. Um, and we gave him, you know, yeah. it was funny because we gave him every opportunity and he just wouldn't, wouldn't do it. And he's like, somebody else called the cops. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we were going to do it anyway. Like, once yeah. Everything was yeah, the employee in there apparently called the cops. So. Yeah. Oh, I let him know. Okay, good. I, I let yeah. him know the second we walked in the store. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. What's uh, your full name, sir? Um, hold on, let me hit move on this. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, Ooh, he, del yeah, you can actually do that. Probably he deleted it. I got a screen record, though. Hey, can you hold this phone? Oh, yeah. can you hold that? Yeah. Um, you want the phone number too? Yeah, phone number. Uh, if your address is different on your ID, it's not. Okay. Oops. So now we get that alarm was on. <laughs> oh, yeah. People get nervous when the police are around. Oh, yeah. <coughs> You guys said you have it all saved, like most. Yep, of the I recorded. I okay. screen recorded okay. it, and so I'm looking for it so, right um, now. Depending on what he tells us, obviously, uh, we can imagine what he's going to tell us. Um, this is going to have to be four to detectives. Right, right now, this is with coronavirus things going around. So y'all uh, trying to be doing this live catch right now too? So it's going to be four to detectives. We'll get his. Obviously, he right could just escape right now. But, uh, so y'all trying to be doing this live catch? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but. So what what happens is that we'll have our friends if they don't work weekends right now. Okay. They're gonna send you a whoever has it's you has it saved, right? Yeah, I'll yeah. send. Yeah. Okay, they'll send you a link. Okay. On your, whatever phone number you want, and then you just upload all the stuff you have to that link. Okay. All the screenshots. The only thing that can't be on there, I think, is obviously you probably don't have nudity of a fourteen year old. Right, right. No, 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 no. We have yeah. legal yeah. consent can, of all of our pictures. Phone, all of our details. Um, and all of our yeah, all of our decoys are yeah, over yeah. age at this okay. point. So. Yeah. Um, so upload all your stuff on there. Um, it'll probably be tomorrow sometime. Yeah. Because we, the, like, I have to, I have to leave a voicemail for them, and whenever right. they get to the voicemail, they send out a little link. Um, yeah. But that, that, that's how you get all your evidence uploaded. Okay. Um, detectives get all of it immediately. Um, the sexual assault unit will get it all. Yeah. Um, and then they go through. They read the, they read our, your statements, his statements. I'm gonna talk to Address. you guys a little more. Yeah, if you can. Okay. Yeah, because um, I still got one that I met the other day, and oh, this one was even worse. Like, I imagine, no, there's, um, there's a lot out there. Yes, so. the two we met yesterday, 
We should forward yeah. to him. Especially yeah, well, I was waiting for a detective so, to get back yeah, to you. Yeah, a detective will get back to you for sure. Yeah. Uh, have you guys ever reported one of these before yet? Um, no, he was supposed to get back to me. I called, and they were supposed to get back to me. He never did, and I was just like, well, I'll just do the catch. I got, I'm got. i going to just wrap okay. everything up in the so, thing. So this is going to be obviously... Well, it'll be like an information report, but until a detective sees it, and then once yeah. he sees it, he develops his own kind of stuff.